Hey guys, welcome back. We are in part 16 now, probably about halfway through the Iron Man 3 level, maybe a little bit more. So hopefully this part will finish that up and maybe be able to head at least into the Thor level. Did she just fly? Oh no. We killed the kid. Stark's got a bit of a fight in him without his suit. She's gonna throw it at me. Oh, throw again. There we go. use of a microwave, Tony defeated the remaining extremist-fueled agents and headed off to take down the Mandarin. Then, things got complicated very quickly. The Mandarin turned out to be a washed-up British actor called Trevor, and the real villain was actually someone familiar. Not an ex-neighbor, but a nerd turned superhuman called Aldrich Killian. I've got to admit, he was looking much more suave these days. Killian only went and took me hostage, exposing me to extremists. He also kidnapped the president, too, and planned to serve him up like a roast turkey. Tony turned up to save the day, this time with Iron Patriot by his side, and his entire back catalog of Iron Man suits. The ten-year-old with the potato gun would have come, too, but he had to tidy his room. Oh. I guess they're throwing us right into Iron Man suits at least. Going all honestly, I think I might have heard a little bit of the uh like Tony Rody type style, but whatever. Still works. Come on, hurry, let's go. I'm not going I just do it myself. Oh, 
I don't know if I need one here. Well, that would have worked a lot easier if I just started that way. You'll stand on that. I'll do this. Yeah, until these guys come anyway. Almost there. <laughs> Holy cow. You didn't stand a chance. It's like the old magnet stuff that Robin used to stick to in the old Batman ones. Oh, whoops. No, that's because it is a magnet. I thought there was supposed to be like a wrecking ball. Alright, where's Killian? down the fight. Try all you want. You can't win. You know that, don't you? Yeah, Rody. Come down and there we go. Sorry, I killed all your health before you even got down here. You take a minute. Oh.
That was fun using that suit and all, but that didn't work all that well. This is going to pull me up. You see? That suit was just like you! A failure! Jarvis, do me a favor and blow Mark 42. No! Even after being cooked in an Iron Man suit, Killian was still up for another round. Luckily for Tony, I was in no mood for any more nonsense. Combining my terrifically toasty powers and an Iron Man repulsor, I flame-grilled the big geek. With that maniac out of the way, Tony celebrated by blowing up all his suits, promising to spend the holidays with me rather than with a screwdriver and an arc reactor. With the president now safe and sound, Tony promised to use his super genius to find a cure for the extremis enhancement, straight after we'd had a festive dinner. Oh, and after he'd had his shrapnel removed. Oh, and don't forget, he is Iron Man. All right, there we go. According to Stark, Ulysses' claw should be on a ship called the Churchill. Stay on the lookout. Exits. Hmm. There we go. Well, this part will end probably right here then just because there's only like a minute left in the regular time I'm looking to do so we'll start uh, the dark world mission in the next part